Okay, making a really quick video here. This is my server rack. I'm just going to do a real quick update. I've got some more in-depth videos coming soon. If you hang on for those, they take a while to edit and get uploaded. The quality of this video will be rubbish. Uh, it's just a real quick overview. So you'll notice I had a blank space. I had a Dell PowerConnect switch in there, a 5524. I bought it because it had two 10 gig ports on it. I hated the switch, I've got rid of it, and I'm waiting to choose a new switch that has to have two 10 gig ports on there without being ridiculously expensive. So they are the passive SFP plus links going to the two servers. So for now, I'm using the Freecom 48 port gigabit switch. Uh, I can't remember the model number, it, it does say it there. 3CRB SG5293. So, it's still got the LCLC link going to my switch upstairs. I'm using that for the moment, it's pretty outdated. I need to get it replaced as soon as I can. It's just sort of a backup switch, it's serving its purpose pretty well here. Underneath there, uh, I've got this brush bar. Um, that the cables are going to to all the powered devices I've got eight outlets on this APC switch PDU uh, It allows me to remotely control all the individual receptacles turn them on and off and monitor power usage um, Underneath that I have the automatic transfer switch it allows for UPS redundancy They're quite expensive for what they are. I got this pretty cheap. I had to wait quite a while, I've been wanting these for ages. Um, so I have the two UPSs feeding. When the, sorry about that, when the APC UPS uh, dies and it's shut down the servers safely, it will transfer over to the secondary UPS, that'll run the wireless equipment and the gateway and the switch, etc. Um, okay, so underneath that, I got rid of the Power Edge R310. I've got a DL380G6, two quad core Xeons, 12 gig of RAM, more RAM coming soon. It's being used for virtualization. Um, it's got one of the, it's got a dual port 10 gig brocade card in there. Uh, two 120 gig SSDs from Samsung. And the same boot drives for this DL180G6 storage server. Again, two quad-core Xeons. This has 24 gig of RAM. This has a one gig battery-backed cache um, on the RAID card, and there's a 512 meg battery-backed cache on that RAID card. Uh, this was a corporate version, so it's the... Sorry, I don't know if you can really see that. The light's quite bad in here. Um, basically, this is an SE326M1. All this is going in the description. Uh, and that will uh, it gives me about 21 22 terabytes after raid it allows for dual disk redundancy um, 10 free terabyte Western digital red drives and 220 gig Samsung SSDs uh, underneath that I've got the APC it's an SMT 1500 RMI 2U I uh, managed to pick that up today from somewhere, it was only 20 minutes away. Um, got it really cheap, it's got a network management card in there as well, the batteries aren't that old and they're pretty cheap to replace. Underneath that the same Liebert Emerson UPS, uh, it's a 1 kVA. So 1 kVA backup UPS and the 1.5 kVA primary UPS. Sorry about the quality for the video. Um, I've taken some more in-depth videos and I'll get round to editing them and posting them soon. Quick answer to a lot of questions. Connection speed is 55 to 60 down and 10 to 15 up. And that's it. Thanks for watching.